We are back and um, we have two more questions that we want to uh, try to get to if we can. Um, this one says, the school year has just begun and I'm already overwhelmed. Can I hear an amen? <laughs> <laughs> How can I find a Christian homeschooling mentor that can walk me through and help me step by step? Oh, I love this question. Yes. Um, I'm going to, first, let me just jump on and say, um, that is why we do this podcast. It is why we're making a movie. It is why we have our blog. It is why we have our social media um, outlets. The The whole ministry of Schoolhouse Rocked is to help guide you and support you and encourage you and equip you for your homeschool journey. Um, and we really try hard to do that the best that we can. So so we, we do that. However, I realize that that's not as coming alongside you and being able to hold your hand step by step. And, and I know we really need that sometimes. So my next suggestion, suggestion after um, listening to the Schoolhouse Rock podcast is if you are not yet a member of HSLDA, um, that's the Homeschool Legal Defense Association, HSLDA. I will link to that in the show notes. If you are not a member of HSLDA, you should become a member. Um, we, we, don't get paid to say that. We don't have an affiliate account with them or anything like that. Um, we just so strongly believe that every homeschool family should be a member because they are our legal covering over homeschooling. And it's I think it's $130 a year for your whole family. Once you're a member of HSLDA, you have access to so much stuff. And one of the things that you have access to is a consultant. And you can call them any day of the week and just say, I would like to talk to a consultant to answer some questions about homeschooling. They'll kind of figure out, you know, what your kids' grades are and ages and, and where you're at. Um, and then they will connect you with one of the um, trained homeschool consultants. All of them, I believe, um, if not most of them, are either retired homeschool moms or currently homeschooling themselves, but have been homeschooling for several years. And so they really know their stuff. They're very familiar with the curriculum that's out and available to you, the different learning styles of your kids, the different teaching styles that you might, um, you know, exhibit yourself, um, the different methods. I mean, they, they really know homeschooling mm -hmm. and they will really take you by the hand and help you figure this homeschool thing out. Um, I, I, I cannot more highly recommend doing that. That said, if you are in an area of the country where you have a local homeschool support system, mm -hmm. I would really recommend um, being part of that. Now, Abby, I'm going to let you talk about that because I know you're really, um, you kind of help lead that charge in your area for yeah. homeschooling. So one also is every state has a state homeschool organization. So yep. HSLDA is an absolutely incredible, vital resource. If you are homeschooling, you absolutely must become a member. They have amazing resources, and they, they've stood the test of time. Um, in conjunction with that, every state has a state homeschool organization, and the benefit of that is you have someone a little bit more locally mm -hmm. that knows the in and out of your state law. But they can also, a lot of states, like I know for our state, on our state website, they also then give you resources to local support groups. So all of the local co-ops or support groups um, – are listed on that site. So then you can even get more local because all these things are great, but sometimes you just need the mom to come over and cry okay. with you while you fold laundry. Like, let's be honest, we just need that. Yeah. So that's when you need to find a local group. And I do, I am the, um, I'm on the homeschool, our state organization board, but then I also run our local homeschool support group, which is 40 families. And we just, we don't do academics together, but we do the life thing together. And we come alongside each other. And what I want to say to every homeschooling mom now is when you're done with your homeschooling journey, don't step out and think that you've been retired. Yes. Um, please remember when you were in the trenches and when you so desperately needed another mom to come alongside you. Yep. And when you're a veteran, don't step out of the game. Come alongside those young moms. Encourage them. Support them. Hold their crying baby while they can read to their five-year-old. Um, you know, 
that example was set up for us in Titus when the older women were to come along to help the younger women. So this is something that the younger women need and the older women need to step up into. So let us remember that when we're done with this journey, that we're not really done. We just step into a new season. So go to HSLDA. They will point you to your state organization. Mm -hmm. Then your state organization will point you to a local organization. Yes. And you can find people there. Yes. And actually your... um, state organization you can find out about uh, find out who your state organization is by going to the schoolhouse rocked website Perfect. so go to schoolhouserocked.com and right on the front page up at the top where it's got the little menu you'll see a um, link that says homeschooling in your state click on that and then that will take you to homeschool freedom which is all of the state organizations um, and so definitely connect with your state organization and yeah. find out who's Perfect. in your area. I think so many people would be surprised to find out that there are other homeschoolers, other mm-hmm. moms who are struggling with the same things and feeling the same way you are and who are also sitting wondering, I wish I had someone, I wish yes. I had someone to do this, sure. to, to walk this journey with. 